yeah, every time I write about you, I struggle to find new ways of saying thoughtful, articulate, storytelling. <laughs> da, da, da. Yes. And you're a nominee tonight too, right? I am honored to be, yes. This is my first time getting to be a part oh, of an award awesome. show like this. And my first time getting to play on one. And I'm really excited, honored to be here. That's amazing. So what? tell us what you're singing tonight. I'll be singing a piece of somebody's daughter. And it's just so exciting to me to know that people are hearing this song out there. This message is so important to me. And it was inspired by this girl on the side of the interstate holding on to a cardboard sign and just thinking about what her story was and what happened to her and thinking about the fact that we've all got a story. So it's really exciting to me. It's, this is like this dream keeps unfolding that I see more people singing along and lifting up this message. It means the world to me. It's crazy. When I went through and spent some time listening to all of your music that you have out, it seems like most of your songs have a message. It's like you're trying to impart wisdom or stories or you don't you don't waste words, I think. Can you I mean is that intentional? Like Well, I think for me creativity is very much like just being a vessel and like listening to whatever is coming through to me. It's it's a very spiritual experience to write and not every song is like that, but I think the ones that I gravitate towards are definitely ones that feel like I think it's a privilege to get to tell a story with music and why not use the words for that, so I appreciate you saying that very much. I just remember there was a song about a jersey that was very kind of personal too, right? Can you share that? Yeah, so this song's called Jersey on the Wall and it's inspired by a group of people I met in this tiny little small town, uh, Grand Manan, New Brunswick, that had just been through a really hard car accident and with five kids from the high school, one of which who passed away. And I played for their school and played for their community and got to know them and flew back the next year for the high school graduation and saw her jersey hanging up there on the wall and I just thought, I have a lot of questions for God, you know? I think it's okay to have those and to be honest and the pain of that. And shortly after that trip, someone from home that I love very much lost their little brother and put me in that place of writing that song. And so people don't think that you only write sad songs. Tell them about your favorite happy up tempo. Yes. I have a song called White Horse that is about love being a little different than you might expect it to be. And there's a lot of electric guitars. And I had such an incredible time in the studio with one of my heroes, Jay Joyce, getting to like see these songs come to life. And there's a really cool theme of this record. And there's definitely a lot of songs that I want people to dance to. So that makes me happy too. <laughs> Speaking of, sorry. No, go on. Speaking of having fun, I'm wondering if you have a busy CMA weekend. You know, this is going to be a big year to be at CMA. It really is. This yeah. is my second year being a part of CMA Fest, and it feels like such a crazy full circle from last year. And just getting to see a lot of those familiar faces coming back to the shows already, and we're at the beginning of the week, which is so cool. But I think this week is an amazing like testament to how much people love country music. And it's an honor to get to see them come out rain or shine and just be so willing and excited to take it in. It's like, that's how I feel about music. And it's really exciting to me that so many people come in and feel the same way. It's crazy. That's really, that's awesome. I mean, thank you so much thank for stopping. So I can't wait to see you perform tonight. Great.